is this video completely inspired because we found this at the thrift shop? Yes. So here's the deal. I am very artsy. I like crafts. I like books. I like plants. That's kind of my vibe. But Davy is very boat, <laughs> ocean, lighthouses, nautical kind of vibes. So we have an art room. And what I'm thinking is we'll do half and half. It'll look interesting. <laughs> half the room will be nautical. Half the room will be like a seventh grader threw up artwork everywhere. And it'll be perfect. But here's the thing. Here's the deal. We want to build shelves for Davy's side of the room. But we are renting. <laughs> and even worse, we are renting in a house that was built in 1911. So the inside of our walls is brick. <laughs> There's nothing we can screw into. There's not even boards in there. It's literal brick. So we're thinking, we're gonna try to make renter-friendly bookshelves. We'll see how that goes. Let's try to make it. Let's go into the design phase and see what we come up with. Going into this process, I knew I was gonna wanna sketch it out before starting anything so that I could help visualize what I wanted the end product to look like. And that would help me with the process of knowing how to build it. Um, I wanted two shelves for this one because I think just proportionally it would look best with the helm on the wall. The wall isn't huge, so two shelves seemed about the right size for it. In case you can't tell from that last clip, I am an artiste. Welcome to my art. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um, these cute little lines are going to be ropes. Um, David gets to choose the rope because obviously this is their shelves and I want them to be happy with whatever you find. So that'll be them. Um, and then these are just gonna be planks of wood. I'm thinking a one by just for weight reasons because I'm thinking the best course of action to try to actually attach it to the wall without damaging the wall is command strips. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> we're gonna try to do everything to actual weight limits. So we're gonna try command strips as a first option. So I think we will do one line of rope that starts down here, gets knotted, um, goes through this wood, gets knotted up here, then goes through this and like makes a little loop. And that loop is what will be attached to the wall. So then we'll do one on either side. But yeah, we will see how that goes. <laughs> For reference, this is the wall that we are decorating. I think it'll be cute. I'm excited. Let's go to the hardware store and see, see what's there, see what we can find. Before we go to the hardware store, there's some Molly content. We're at the hardware store. We're gonna go find wood and rope and stain for wood. Anything else? Okay, we got a lot of rope. We got some twine for a purpose that only Davy understands. We got stain, command hooks. Let's see how this goes. Wax to seal the stain and these little rings. So let's try it. And wood. Oh yeah. So we measured the wood to figure out how long each plank of wood should be and then went ahead and cut it. Uh, we were able to use the scene shop's tools, thank goodness, because we don't own any. <laughs> and then I measured out where we wanted to drill all of the holes to allow the rope to go through. Davy then started drilling those, and it worked okay, but we quickly realized that it was just going to be too small, so I ended up using a paddle to make the hole bigger so that the rope could actually fit through said hole. Then I tested it just to make sure and that the rope would fit all the way through, and then sanded them down so that we wouldn't have any splinters or anything, including making little sandpaper tacos to get fit inside of the holes. I made sure to get the edges really nice so that it wouldn't hurt the wall or us while we were trying to do it, and then wipe down all of the sawdust. And then it was staining time. So for staining, I really wanted to do a light layer first and just get as much color from the wood to come up as possible. I love the look of a stain. I just think it looks so neat to see all the different textures that's just naturally on the wood. It's also just very pleasing to get to watch <laughs> staining. 
I think it just looks so satisfying. Then I wiped it down to just kind of get rid of any excess stain and we were on to the rest of the wood. And then the worst thing in the world happened to me. All right, so we are back home because we can do the rest of the stuff at our house and not have to be in a public space, which is preferred. At some point, we will get a garage. But just to show you in different lighting, this is what they look like. And I think they came out so pretty. <laughs> I love it. Um, so next step is actually sealing in the stain. It just helps protect the wood. So we've got to do that next. Then we'll let that set for however long it takes. I'm estimating probably a week for it to dry fully so that I can actually like stand up against having a rope <laughs> being tied around it. As an update, command hooks pretty obvious reasons are not the best way to hang these on the wall. Um, but again, we cannot drill holes. Our only option to it would be create a, like a massive hole for like a toggle bolt or something. And we don't want to do that because that sounds expensive <laughs> to fix. I found different um, hooks that are similar to command hooks, but they are um, specific for hanging curtains. And so they're rated for like 13 pounds a piece. Um, and then I, so I'm thinking if we, so I'm thinking we'll use those. And then if we still use the command strips on the back of the wood to help still kind of like hold just a little bit of the weight up, even if it takes just a portion of the weight, it still will help. So I think that's the current plan that we're going to go with. Let's get on to sealing. For waxing the wood, uh, I've always been taught that it's important to go in small circular motions around it and, to, and not to go in the grain so you can really get everywhere. Um, so I went ahead and did one side and then I waited 24 hours and then did the other side for all of the wood. Oh. <laughs> you can see shoulder. your shoulder, yeah. <laughs> right now. Oh, you're good. Okay, you're ready? Hi friends! Okay, so it's been about a week because um, we were waiting for the wax to fully dry and set. Um, so this next part is actually tying the knots in the rope, which is going to be so fun. Um, Davey is going to be doing most of that. Speaking of tying the knot... <laughs> Davey knows a lot more about tying knots than I do and actually cares what the knots look like. So it's going to be them doing this portion and I will be helping. I'll be a cute little helper. How does that sound? Sounds oh, pretty good. So we're on to the next portion. After we tie these knots, we're gonna measure where on the wall wall we'll put them. Um, we bought these little hooks that are not command hooks, so we'll put those up where they need to be. We'll see how that goes. Those need to set for about 24 hours, and then we'll hang the shelves. So that's all that we're doing today. Let's get to it. Oh my gosh, he looks so chunky right now. Here's here's the plan that I thought of, which proves that I'm a production manager. We have rope, correct? Um, however, we don't know how long each knot is going to take up the rope. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure out two feet of rope, and then we're going to have Davey do whatever knot they want to do, and then we'll remeasure how much we have, and that'll let us know how much length we lose per knot, so then we can move forward actually having that number and we can plan ahead. <laughs> so let's start measuring. Oh, and these are the hooks that we have. Okay, so one of the goals we had with this specific shelf design is I wanted to be able to use knots that like you would find on a pier and like find on ship rigging and stuff like that. So the first one that we're gonna use that is just like the base knot that's holding all of the wood in place on the rope, it's gonna be the figure eight knot. So the figure eight knot is 
really simple and it's kind of just used to make a bundle in the rope so the rope doesn't slip through holes. Rope. You make a P. Come around the bottom. Come back up. One thing that we've realized with this rope is that it sucks. Um, so, this although this knot doing. is very sturdy, with this kind of rope, it's just sliding back through because we chose a nylon rope for aesthetics. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna place a bit of contact cement. Um, so we'll just place it right on the dead end right here, pressing up against here so it can kind of sit on that and that'll help keep it stronger. So that's the plan for that to hold it in place. Otherwise, this knot is great. It's very strong. It'll hold it. Um, so let's measure and see how much length we actually have now. We lost eight inches. Eight inches. The boards are different colors, which is fine. Like, it doesn't look bad. They're still in the same family, but it means that we're going to carefully plan which boards go best together and which side of which board goes best together. So we're going to plan that. Do you prefer darker or lighter? The lighter on top. So on the lighter sides. Yep. Excellent. So do you want to go through like this? And this will be the bottom? Yeah, so it'll be like this. Mm-hmm. So we know this is a two-foot mark. Go ahead and tie it as figure eight as close down here as possible. Okay, ready? Probably. Okay. My paper fingers are gonna get contact cement. This is old, goopy contact cement. We'll let that sit for a minute. Okay, so this pink tape is about kind of lower, yeah. is about where the next one's gonna be. We're using these loops to be able to actually attach onto the hooks because this rope is kind of thick. And the time came to measure the wall. So we went ahead and measured the length as well as the height to figure out where we wanted the helm to sit on the wall because we wanted the helm to sit in the center and then base the location of everything else around it. I went ahead and sketched the, the helm on the wall so that we could kind of just have a reference of where it was gonna be. And then we held up the shelves up against the wall to kind of give us a reference of where we wanted it. I made little markings on the walls for where we wanted the hooks to happen and then made sure to measure it so that it was all level. And then we went ahead and did that on the other side. And then we started putting on the actual hooks. We cleaned the wall first and then just kind of pressed them up for 30 seconds. It was very nice and easy. So we're done hanging up the hooks. Um, we have to run because we're hanging out with friends tonight. But so tomorrow we'll finish the second set of shelves and then we should be able to hang them up on the hooks. We're so close. I'm so excited. Are you so excited? Mm -hmm. They're look it's looking so cute. It really is. We need more nautical stuff to put on the shelves, but for now, it's adorable. See you guys tomorrow. Hi. It's a new day. Um, we definitely got a little bit busy, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, so all that is left to do is to build the second shelf, um, hang it on the wall. We did a test with the first shelf and it's 
been hanging fine, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Are you, how are you feeling? I really like it. It's a little crooked, but we'll fix that. We have to level it, but that's... <laughs> that'll be done once the second shelf's built, so we'll, we'll build a second shelf, we'll level all of it, um, and then we'll show you guys what it looks like, so... Did it. Making my living. So sawing rope. We realized something with the with the second shelf. Um, is that we should probably hang it on the wall, and then judge the knots to level it so that it's actually level on the wall. So we're now going back and trying to fix the first shelf. So we're gonna go do that really fast, and then it's time for the reveal. They're so stinking cute. What do you think about them? They are really cool, and I'm really happy the way they turned out. Because now I actually have like my own like shelves and like everything I can store on them. Things that went well is that they're really, really stinking cute, um, and they are in fact level. <laughs> they are level. It took a little bit of time, but they are level. We did get them level, um, and I feel like they're a good size in proportion to the wall and to the helm and everything. For being renter-friendly shelves that are hung on by basically command strips. Oh yeah, completely renter-friendly. Yeah, not a single hole in the wall. They haven't peeled off any paint or anything like that. They work and they're holding both themselves and a lot of weight, which is, I didn't think we could hold as much weight as we are with them. I definitely don't trust like Ollie on them. <laughs> Yeah. But like a couple books, like a ship or something, like I think it's cute. The hooks that we got, um, yeah, they're rated I think about 22 pounds. Um, I'll include a link for them down in the description. I really like them. I think they worked out well. So They're good, they're good hooks. Um, we kind of took a risk with the Amazon reviews because a lot of people were talking about how they just fell down, they didn't stick. Um, but honestly, if you clean your walls and you let them sit for roughly 24 hours before you put any weight on them, then they work. Things that could have gone better? I think we could have planned a little bit better on like dimensions of like space between shelves. 
and figured out the math behind it a little bit better. Um, I, as you guys saw, I knocked over the stain, which the stain that we got, um, I didn't mix it, which is another thing that I didn't do, um, but which meant when I dumped it out, that the top part of the stain was really light and red in color, and then the bottom part was a lot darker, which works out okay, but I, there, it's definitely a lot less red toned than the helm. <laughs> um, one other thing to note, I don't know if you guys saw it. These bad boys, they're like this. We're gonna pretend it's not noticeable and move on with our lives because we're out of rope. They turned out really good. They're so cute. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Considering we've never really stained before or done anything like this. This is so cute. Thanks so much for watching my video. Um, if you liked this video and want to see more like it, feel free to subscribe. It's a party over here. Bye, lovelies.